Hi everybody, welcome back. So in today's video... Are you single, Jonathan? No. You're not? I have a lover and then I have love interests. The one that I want is not available, so I have to occupy my time dealing with women that I'm not interested in that much. You know, you actually just said the quiet part out loud. <laughs> That's what happens, you know? Would you be honest with them that this is happening? I'm not sure. No? So when a guy says he likes you, please don't forget to ask him why. Because you don't want to be wasting your time. Let's get into the video. Evan, you know. Would you be honest with them that this is happening? I'm not sure. No. I was tagged in a video from a young woman who was telling the story about how her parents met. And her parents met years and years and years ago. And the dad was about to get chipped off to war. But before he left, he asked the woman if she would marry him and she said no so he went to war heartbroken he met a woman in italy married that woman had a baby with her they eventually ended up divorced he came to this woman again and said would you marry me the woman said no again he ended up coming to her a third time and i guess third time is a charm because she finally says yes and the person who was telling the story is like, they had me and my brother and they've been married now for 27 years. I'm sure in her mind, this is a beautiful story. You know, she was fighting for her life in the comment section that saying that this story is all about how you should never give up. But my whole thing is the, the women whose time the father wasted on the way to getting with her mother. You had a baby with a woman, married a woman that you met in Italy, knowing good and well that your heart belonged to somebody else. The fact that this is just what some men do, that they're okay using you as a placeholder, using you to as a as something to kill time, like you don't have feelings, that, that you're not a real person. I think she said it like it's beautiful, but it, to me it's just like, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Like this man was a menace, okay? If he knew that he couldn't fully give himself to any one woman, why date all these women? That's why it's so important for you to make sure that you're not a placeholder for a man. Ask that man, is there anyone else who your heart belongs to? Is there anyone on planet Earth that if she ever said, you know, she'd give you another chance that you would? Some men in a moment of clarity might actually answer that. You don't want to be a man's second choice. You don't want a man being with you until this other woman changes her mind. And that man, even if he's with her, and his heart belongs to you, he's not a good guy because he's still wasting that woman's time. Let her go on and be loved all the way through by a man that is genuine and who wants her and only her. It's not as cute a story as she seemed to think that it was. And this man right here is telling the same story. The one that I really want is unavailable. So I'm being with these other women, but he's not a good enough man to tell those women that. At least let the women choose for themselves. Do I really want to entertain this man? You let them fall for you blindly. Let them fall head over heels while your feet are still firmly planted on the ground. These are not good guys. I don't care what nobody says. The one that I want is not available. So I have to occupy my time dealing with women that I'm not interested in that much. Look, y'all be surprised at how many men are dealing with a woman that they don't even want because the one woman that they want not even giving them the time of day. One thing that I know for a fact, men do not take rejection well. Look, he didn't take rejection well and that hurt his ego. So what he did was went out and found other women to boost his ego because men get a huge ego boost from talking to multiple women. And here's where we get in the situation of a man entertaining a woman that he doesn't want. And the woman, she's like, damn, why doesn't he text back as much? Or why isn't he like taking me out on dates and stuff? Truth be told, he don't really want you. The person that he wants is not available and you are the only person that he can go to when he needs coochie or somebody to occupy his time. And like I said, he can be laid up with you or hunt you with you and have no feelings for you at all. You are convenient to him until you're no longer needed. And I'll tell you one thing, once you stop playing to his web of games, 
he is struggling. He is going to try to come back and treat you better because he knows that he lost out on a good thing and somebody that actually cared for him. And I'm going to say this. It's better to be the one that got away and stayed away instead of being the one that stayed and settled for the bare minimum and then end up hurt at the end. That much. All right. So when I tell you this helped click something into place for me, because one of the sources of pain that I kept running into, and we're talking going all the way back to like high school, like the beginning of my dating life was always being in the shadow of the one who came before. Boyfriends would cheat on me with their ex, leave me to get back with their ex. In the not too distant past, I had a man dump me twice so he could get back with his ex-wife. And yes, twice. That does mean that he dumped me to get back with his ex-wife. It didn't work out. He came back to me. I took him back and then he dumped me again to get back with his ex-wife. Yes, yes. And that does actually get into the insight that I'm having now. But for my entire dating life, I would wonder what is wrong with me? What is so terrible about me that I am always in the shadow of the one who came before. It was not unlike my worry of why am I good enough to be used but not good enough to be loved. Both have basically the same answer because they both come from basically the same place. The only thing wrong with me is that I didn't have enough self-love and self-respect to recognize when someone was using me and then walk away. Because men who do not deconstruct their misogynistic messaging will default to seeing women not only as objects but objects that they get something from. And therefore a relationship is just an avenue to utilize that object. Object. Now, I'm not saying that only men do this. I've seen all genders do this. But when you do the gender breakdown, you start seeing a very interesting pattern. And it's the same reason why men will hit up women because they're bored, no matter how much emotional turmoil that they know it's going to put the woman through. The main reason I kept getting into relationships with men who are not over their exes is because these were men who thought nothing of using a woman as a stopgap. Ah, eh, she'll occupy my time until I can get with the one that I really want. And then likewise with the whole being used, but not being loved. The only thing wrong with me there was me assuming that it was a statement on my value that these men would want to use my body but not love my spirit. When in reality, these are just misogynistic men who were taught that women are objects to be used. And I want to say, and why would they love an object? But these are usually men who love their trucks. Now, the worst part is, much like that man in the stitched video, they don't see anything wrong with this. And if you were raised as a girl, taught to defer out and specifically defer to a man, and a man is acting like there's nothing wrong with it, well then obviously it must mean that there's something wrong with us. It's just turtles all the way down. So I guess my PSA for this is that if you've got a man in your life who is giving you the runaround while he has eyes for another woman, it's time to go. You are not going to win him over. You are not going to prove your worthiness. The best you're going to get is him going, eh, this will do for now. And trust me on this one, relationships where that's his mindset will destroy your soul. That I'm not interested in that much. Y'all would be surprised how many guys are dealing with women right now solely because the woman that they really do want isn't giving them the time of that. Remember how I told y'all there's Judge Judy's and there's the, the BS acceptors? A lot of the times, these guys really are running into Judge Judy's. Like, if y'all think for one second that every woman is going to put up with some of the stuff that y'all be putting up with, you're, <laughs> you're very wrong. Now, in some cases, what this actually does is it damages the guy's ego. Not being able to get his way with the woman that he wants to get his way with is gonna hurt his feelings. And in order for him to get over this ego damage, he feels like he has to get that validation from other women. Now, if this has to include him lying to her or leading her on for months, that's what they're willing to do. But one thing I can tell you for sure is that they're very aware of what they're doing and how they're doing it. Which is why I will never stop stressing that it's okay to have high standards, it's okay to cut people off when they're not moving how you want them to move. Because if you don't move that way and you keep giving everybody you meet the same benefit of the doubt, you're gonna just waste a whole lot of time. I'm not sure. No. But we know this though, and this is what we talk about. Women talk about how men will lie and hide their intention. I hope that the women that he's leading on sees that and leaves his ass alone. And of course, we know that this is not just a man thing, but oftentimes women are told, well, you should have picked somebody better and you keep going after these guys that are doing this, that, and the third. But there are men that are just lying. They're manipulating and they're hiding who they really are and their actual intention. He's an example of that. What pisses me off more is how grown women put up with this and then have the nerve to get mad at women who don't, who have passports, who own businesses, and who choose to marry when the time is right and when the money says so. 
our money, that is. I am tired of women who just don't want to get it. See, there are women who get it and there are women who don't want to get it. Okay? Having intelligence and using intelligence are two different things. Intelligent women have passports. Intelligent women will change their life around and do the difficult thing and make difficult decisions to get the best in life. The end goal is not marriage. The end goal is respect and dignity, both in and outside of your marriage. You're going to spend a significant amount of time outside of a marriage, and you're going to spend a significant amount of time in a marriage. The end goal is respect and dignity, ladies. And the problem is we have women who have intelligence and don't use it. They have the ability to get a passport and don't use it. We have women who can do better but refuse to and refuse to own the fact that they choose to be single and choose to be married. Honey, you're making a decision either way. You are making a decision and you need to own your decision. We need to woman up to the fact that we are making a decision. There's no perfect decision. There's no perfect world. There's no perfect man or woman. We are not perfect people. Men are not perfect people. But I tell you this, we women are responsible for what we tolerate. And nothing angers me more than seeing women in our country tolerate what we shouldn't. The only reason these men get away with it is because we have women who tolerate it. And the moment we have women who don't, we have a better country. We have a better nation. We'll have socialized health care. We'll have a lot of things when women stop tolerating things. But as long as we have women who tolerate things, nothing changes. So when will women grow up? When will women stop tolerating things? When will women own their decisions? When will women start making the tough decisions, the difficult decisions to walk away? The only reason you're alone is because you choose to be alone. There are plenty of fish in the sea. You just want tuna with all the mercury. When you could have had salmon. You could have had something of a higher quality. But you just didn't want to go fishing. You didn't care to. And then you want to give young ladies bad advice, telling them to settle for disrespect and the lack of dignity. When we, as women, own our decisions, this will cease to exist. When we, as women, decide that we're not going to tolerate what we've been tolerating, I guarantee you things will change when you do ask them questions some people just get carried away on these dates where they are talking about themselves and their jobs and their lives that they end up not asking the right questions so next time that you go out with a guy and he's he's telling you that he likes you please don't forget to ask him why mm -hmm. ask him why don't forget because it's very important to ask for their true intentions about why they want to date you, be in a relationship with you, want to marry you, ask them why. Mm -hmm. Because it may be for all the wrong reasons. So let me know about what you think of all of this in the comment section. And I'll see you another day with a different video. Take care of yourselves. Bye.